Tarzan of the Apes, from the novels by Edgar Rice Burroughs, with Mr. James H. Pierce as Tarzan and Miss Joanne Burroughs as Jane Porter. Professor Porter and his party, searching the jungle for Jane, the professor's daughter, are captured by cannibals. Jane, meanwhile, has been found by Tarzan, who takes her to the cannibal kraal to see if her father is there. They are captured. Tarzan breaks his bonds, rescues Jane from the witch doctor, and carries her back into the jungle. Now, are you ready? Hold your breath. Once again, he snatches her from out of her very arms. Jane! Jane! She's safe. Safe, Philander? What are you talking about? Off again in the jungle with that... Now, Clayton, there's no earthly use acting that way. If Jane has been all these weeks with Tarzan of the Apes, why should she come to any particular harm simply because that pagan person has been able to do what we have failed miserably in attempting? But, but, Philander, can't you? Do you? Great Scott, man. I'm in love with that girl. And to see her carried off that way... Monsieur Clayton, we understand. But you must realize that, that whoever that person is, he has rendered the woman you love a great service. I, oh, I'm so relieved. I don't know what to do, what to say. But Jane, Jane is safe. I wish I could share your, your belief. I'm uneasy. Every minute that Jane is not under our protection. Come, 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 monsieur. You do not know what you are saying. Only one brief moment ago, we were upset. But why? Because Mademoiselle Jane was in direst danger. That danger seems to be transferred to us. Look, undoubtedly, uh, the natives believe us responsible for Jane's escape. Why, why here comes the Bushido. Buona. Medicine man, he speak of chief. Buona, save white devil god. I thought so. The witch doctor blames us for the escape. Well, we can stop that. Quickly, Monsieur Clayton, grab the witch doctor. But what do you do? As I say, Monsieur, I shall take care of the chief. All right. Where shall I take uh, Before the chief. Hurry, Monsieur Clayton. Be small. Kabaka, Nadawe, Maturi, Bardo, Kidogo, Kildini, Nkupa, Takula. They don't seem to believe you, darling. I told them that if the witch doctor had left us alone, our medicine would have brought rain and much food. Here, Donald. What do I do with that? Lead him forward by that rope around his neck. I shall settle him for good with his tribe and his chief. MZ, Bango Tiara, Mashi, Nadawir, Imshai. What is the fellow saying, Donald? He has recognized the rope about the witch doctor's neck as the one with which they bound Tarzan. He says this proves that the witch doctor's medicine is no good. Yes, he'll have a topping time explaining that rope. Look, look at the chief. That's no thing. Look at the tribe. They're about ready to cook their own witch doctor. While the infuriated natives surge and circle about the cannibal kraal, Tarzan carries Jane faster and faster, farther and farther into the jungle in the direction of the little platform in the trees. For Jane Porter, the relief at being rescued amounts to a reaction almost hysterical. Oh, why did I? I never expected to see daylight again. I thought, I thought that we would both end our days at the stake. Oh, I know I'm rattling on, but you don't know the relief. Why, the jungle is no longer terrible. It's, it's a haven of refuge compared to that horrible village. Jane, all right? Yes, now. I can hardly believe it doesn't seem possible that we're still alive. That once more, white skin, I'm being held safe in your arms. Jane, no more frightened. No talk. But I must talk, white skin. If I don't talk, I'll scream. I'll cry. I'll make some kind of a fool of myself. Oh, you don't understand. You haven't a nerve in your body. You're, you're superhuman. Sometimes I have to rub my eyes to believe that you're real. Jane, all right now. A little more. Go home. Home. Yes, white skin. I guess you're right. That little platform is as much of a home as I've got now. Oh, White Skin, in the excitement of being rescued, I've forgotten Daddy. Dad? Daddy? Father, back at Black Man Village. Other time, White Skin go back, Black Man Village, take Father, bring Father Jane. Oh, you mustn't. Oh, you can't go back there. But, but, oh, dear, what am I thinking? Yes, you must go back. Father, Mr. Philander, Cecil. Many fathers stop Black Man Village? Not exactly, White Skin. Oh, I'm too worn out to try to correct that mistake. As long as you understand, that's enough. Down from the upper jungle terrace, Tarzan drops to the familiar clearing about the platform. Carefully but swiftly, his practiced hand grasps the tough vines as his unerring feet find hold after hold on the rough, uneven bark of the thicker branches. Gently, the ape-man lowers Jane to the laced branches forming the platform. Jane? Jane, home. Home, white skin. <laughs> I think... 
In fact, I know that all my friends back home would think I was crazy if they heard that I, I was actually glad to get back here to this place and call it home. Tarzan raises his head. His delicate nostrils quiver as he draws deep breaths of the sultry, torrid air. The ape man's brows become wrinkled. Jane watches him inquiringly. What's wrong, White Kim? Pretty soon, big water come. Much big water. Rain? You mean rain? Water. Much water. Make better home. Take many leaves. You, you think we'd better improve our shelter? Well, I'll admit that it's not much in the way of a shelter against a tropical storm. White Skin get many leaves. Big water come. Jane no frightened. I don't quite blame you, White Skin, for thinking Jane gets frightened at everything. But I'm really not afraid of the rain. It may be unpleasant and nasty to get all wet with no fire to dry out by, but, but no, White Skin, no. No, I'm not frightened. White Skin go. Get leaves. Jane stop here. All right, White Skin. You hand them up to me and I'll help you strengthen our roof. If it can be properly called a roof. Jane, help. All right, I'm ready. Goodness, but you're strong. Father Cecil would need an axe or a saw to break through branches like that. Oh, I, I can hardly lift this one up. A little more. Quick. What a cold. Well, I'm doing the best I can. White skin? Yes, Jane. Why can't we go to the hut until the rain passes? What Jane talk? White skin? Jane, go hut. Rain come, rain stop. Come back. Rain come? Go hunt? Yes. Yes, yes. Rain come. White skin, Jane. Go hunt. And with never an effort, Tarzan swings back to the platform, gathers Jane to him, and starts off through the trees in the direction of the little cabin built by Lord Greystoke so many years ago. Back in the cannibal growl, Professor Porter, Belander, Clayton, and Darno watch the discomfiture of the witch doctor as the natives dance about him and shout their derision as he stands with the rope about his neck, the rope with which he had ordered Tarzan bound. It really would seem as though our vindication was complete. But yes, only of course, a shift of wind, a wrong action, and like a pack of hungry wolves, they will turn on us again. Uh, now that Jane is out of this place, I don't care what happens. Monsieur! Uh, yes, sir, no, what is it? Monsieur! Unless my ears deceived me, I heard distant thunder. What? And the natives? The natives are too busy. Second nature, though, for a sailor to catch the sound of distant thunder. But I shall make sure. Uh, but how are you going to do that? I'm going to check my glass. The barometer in my equipment at the other hut. I shall not be long. If we can be absolutely sure of rain, then... It almost looks as if fate for once were playing into our hands. Uh, we must make some sort of an attempt at a rain ceremony, then. That we might as well do this thing properly. It's not so much doing the thing properly as it is getting our necks out of the noose. If the rain comes and we do perform the rain ceremony... Yes, yes. Dano. What luck, Dano? Yes, yes. The glass is falling rapidly. We shall have rain. Sir, tell them all. Then we should start as quickly as possible. Yes, there's the chief. I am going to tell him that in spite of the witch doctor's interference, we shall bring the rain. Venge Kilindini, Kabaka Matsuri, Sane Nadaya. Quickly, Monsieur le Professeur, do anything. Make signs to heaven. Anything at all that looks impressive. I will assume an air of devotion and walk slowly to the fire. I'll get a player from the hut. Go ahead, Professor. I'll follow you. Voila, voila, Monsieur. We have their attention already. If Clayton will arrive with that flare about the same time as I reach the fire, I will tell him, Professor, I see him. Coming now. Here it is. By Jove. But the sky is blackening. Get on your knees, Clayton, and hand the flare to the professor. Here is the devil fire that thou desirest. As Clayton speaks, he falls to his knees before Professor Porter. The professor takes the flare... Setting it in the ground draws a burning brand from the fire. He lights the flare. The vivid green light flares up, casts a weird unearthly light over the compound. The natives hold out their hands in an attitude of supplication, and then, with one accord, they begin the chant to the rain god. <laughs> Black smoke will gather the clouds, and the rain will come. Black 
clouds will gather, the clouds and the rain will come. Tarzan are on their way to the hut built by Lord Greystoke, Tarzan's father. For the cannibals, rain has come. But what will the blacks do now that Tarzan and Jane have escaped them? This is animal.